Hyperdrive systems allowed starships to make the jump to hyperspace and travel faster than the speed of light. Their development was instrumental in the exploration of the galaxy, as well as the creation of intergalactic society and trade. They made it possible to journey across the entire galaxy in a matter of days. Lightspeed travel was possible as early as one million years before the Battle of Yavin through the use of hypergates and other technology. But the first starships with hyperdrive capability were created by the Rakata some 30,000 years BBY. Their technology led to other worlds reverse engineering their own, and it wasn't long before hyperdrives were commonplace throughout the galaxy. Ships with hyperdrive systems were also required to install inertial dampers, which would protect the ship and crew from being crushed by the massive acceleration of a hyperspace jump. The speed of a hyperdrive, referred to as a class, was measured on a decreasing scale. The closer the class was to zero, the faster the drive. For example, Han Solo brags that the Millennium Falcon can outrun Star Destroyers, which generally carried class II hyperdrives. Han and Chewbacca heavily modified their hyperdrive until it was classified as .5, significantly faster than a class II. Jumping to hyperspace could only be made when a ship was unaffected by the gravitational pull of any planet or star. Fail-safes were installed into hyperdrive so that a ship would exit light speed if a gravitational pull were detected mid-flight. This fail-safe could be exploited by interdictor-class star destroyers that created artificial gravity in order to pull ships out of hyperspace or prevent them from jumping away. That's it for today. Be sure to like and subscribe to see new Star Wars videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And if there's a specific Star Wars topic you'd like me to cover, please leave it in the comments and I'll do an episode about it. Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.